Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to trigger a Jenkins job from another Jenkins job. So let's try to understand the use case better. If you look at this diagram, this diagram talks about what are the different ways you can kickstart Jenkins build jobs. So if you see option one, uh, let's say that you have configured a job in uh, Jenkins in order to automate build and deployment. Uh, let's say this is your source code. Uh, you can kickstart a Jenkins job by configuring something called Polysium, right? So this is actually nothing but if I take you to my one of my existing Jenkins job configuration, if you go to build triggers, so this is what I'm talking about, right? So there are so many ways you can kickstart a Jenkins job. So this is like option one, Polysium. Uh, so this is like scheduling a build to run at, uh, you know, specific uh, periodic interval, right? And then option two is, uh, so this is like a web books. So as soon as you make a code change, uh, you can kickstart uh, Jenkins build job. So that is actually nothing but this one, right? So in this case, uh, build will be triggered immediately. So this is like a push mechanism. Pull ESM is like a pull mechanism, right? And then if you look at option three, um, you can also kickstart a Jenkins job uh, from your Slack channel as well, or, or any kind of a third party application. So that is like option three, uh, that you would be enabling by configuring this one, right? By, by checking this one, okay? So you would be entering the token and then you need to go to the source system and then you need to provide this URL uh, in order to kickstart uh, that Jenkins uh, build job. So we also have uh, videos in my YouTube channel as well. So feel free to check all these options, okay? But the scope of this video is how you can kickstart a Jenkins job from another Jenkins job. So that is the use case what we are going to cover in our short video. So we are going to cover three different uh, scenarios. Okay, so we are going to take a scenario one where uh, you have two different free sale job and then how you can kickstart your second free sale job uh, by going into the first free, free sale job post bill action and then how you can kickstart your second job okay by uh, you know using the post bill action and then scenario two is if you look at the scenario two so this is like a pre build right so you may have a free sale job but you want to kick start this job after the other job is built right so you can also do that as well you see get build after other projects are built right so you can also you know do that as well and then uh, scenario three is Let's say you have a pipeline job, but you want to kickstart another Jenkins job from your pipeline job, right? So you can also do that as well. So yeah, so these are the three different uh, scenarios what we are going to cover uh, in this video. Awesome, so let's get started, guys. So this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. So if you look at the prerequisite, yes, we need to have Jenkins up and running. So this is my Jenkins. Uh, configured in uh, AWS Cloud, it doesn't matter. You you can have your Jenkins configured anywhere. Uh, so just for a demo purpose, I'm going to use uh, my Jenkins configured in AWS Cloud. And then uh, I already have an existing job. Okay, so let me just pick up this job. So let's say this is my first job, right? So this is my uh, job. Okay, so what I wanted to do, so what I wanted to achieve is, uh, I also have my second job as well. Okay, so this is my second job. Okay, so basically um, I wanted to trigger this job and then right after this job is, uh, you know, built, I wanted to kickstart the second job. Okay, so how do you do that? So go to the configuration and then you see here, go to the post bill actions and then in this option, do you all see something like, let me see. You see get build other projects. Okay, so click on that one. When you do that, that option would be appearing over here. I know it's kind of weird. It should generally show here, but uh, the way Jenkins is going to show, uh, you know, somewhere over here. So you need to scroll up. So if you see here, this is where you're going to mention your uh, second job, right? Or whichever the job you actually wanted to trigger. So in my case, the job name is my second job. So just go ahead and then type that in. Uh, so you can also provide the multiple jobs as well by comma separated. But in my case, I just have a single job. 
only one job I wanted to trigger. So remove the space, remove the comma. So that's it, right? And then if you see these options, so you can, you also have an option to configure, uh, you know, even if the if this particular build is stable, you can also kickstart, or even if the particular build is unstable, you can also, you know, kickstart that job as well. So based on the scenario, you can select, but I would like to go with this option. I don't want to trigger the second job if this particular job is failing, okay? So yeah, just check that and then apply and save. So that's it, right? So now if you see here, it immediately shown here. So this is the downstream projects, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and then click on build now. I know I'm kickstarting manually right now, but again, you can configure uh, this particular Jenkins job, however you want it to do. So let me go to the console output and go to console output. If you actually see here, yes, the job got started, uh, you know, and then look at here, right? So this is where this is going to trigger the second job. And then you can click on here. There you see here. So today is January 5th. And if you click on the console output, you will also see that you see here, it says that started by upstream project, the, our first job, right? And then this is the output of that. Okay, it's a very simple, simple scenario. Okay, and then you can also see here, in the second job, you can also see that what is upstream project as well, right? So this is the scenario one, it's a very simple use case, okay? So now let's go to scenario two, uh, how you can trigger a Jenkins job from another free sale job, right? So again, let's go back, let's go to the same job, okay? So go to configure, go to post bill action. I know I have already, we have already did this, right? So I'm going to remove that one, apply and save. Okay, so now let's go to the build triggers. So do you all see this option? Look at, look at this option, build after other projects are built. So click on this one, so here, the way we wanted to trigger this particular job is, we want to trigger my first automated job after this particular project, which we are going to give, right? Uh, so for example, let me again, again, uh, you can give any name, but uh, let me just say second job. I know this is the naming may not be, uh, you know, perfect. So, so again, you can do like that, right? And then again, you also have options, okay? Uh, just like what we discussed and then click on apply and save. So basically what we are saying here is we wanted to trigger this job only after this particular project is built. So this will build first and then this will build second. Okay. So how do we know that? Okay. So let's see. You see here now. Now this job has upstream project. Okay. Look at that downstream project, right? So let's do one thing. Um, so now again, I, I want to kickstart this job manually, right? But if you see this particular job configuration, uh, I mean, again, I don't have anything over here. It's a very simple job, okay? But but look at here, right? I'm going to kickstart this particular job, build now. Okay, so it immediately build because I'm just, uh, you know, uh, printing something on the console output. So now look at here. So this has triggered the second job, right? I mean, you know, the first job. So if we go back here and you can see right now, look at here. So this job got triggered by this one, right? Yeah, so this is scenario two. I don't think this is really complicated, right? So now let's talk about uh, scenario three, where let's say you have your existing pipeline job and then from the pipeline job, if you wanted to kickstart any other job, uh, so how do we do that? It's very simple again. So let me uh, go to Jenkins. Let me click on a new item. Let, why don't we just create a new pipeline, right? So I want to say my pipeline trial job, something, something, some name we can give. Okay. So let me just create a sample pipeline right now. Okay, so this is our pipeline code. Okay, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to, again, you can give any name. Trigger another job. So if you see here, all you have to do is just provide the name of the second job, right? So look at here, that's all. That's all you have to do. You 
you see here you just have to provide the job name that's all okay so in my case I think I already have a job called my second job right which we have been testing so just save this apply save I hope the naming conventions are right my second job yeah this is about right okay all right so now if I go to my pipeline okay so let me click on bill now again you can also kickstart uh, the pipeline job through web books and whatnot but as soon as the pipeline job is triggered let's just check the console output there you go you see here now it triggered the second job now let's go to the second job let's see console output there you go you see here now it says that this particular job got triggered uh, from the pipeline job right and then this is actually the console output right so yeah so that's it guys you know so these are uh, you know various ways you can kick start uh, your Jenkins job from a, another Jenkins job I hope this video was useful uh, looking forward to see you all in the next video thank you all guys